Hello, I'm Kenyatta. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's get into it. This will be a reading from the Rider Waite deck. The title of this reading is Ain't Got No Money, Ain't Got No Gain. Who or what ain't got no money and ain't got no gain? What is this all about? No money, no gain. All right, let's get into it. Here we have three of cups upright. Mm -hmm. The death card upright. I mean, in reverse. Four of pentacles in reverse. The magician in reverse. Three of wands in reverse. Celebrate. This person wants to celebrate with you. They want to have a good time with you. They want to go out with you, okay? They want to, you know, like just spend some time with you, get to know you. Who are you? What are you about, okay? Um, this person might be in awe of you. They think you're beautiful. They think you're ravishing, gorgeous even, okay? I have to have her. I have to have that. I want that, okay? I'm hearing in my bed, okay? And in my head, okay? You're in this person's head, okay? They want you all over the place. Okay, this is what I'm hearing, all right? But I'm feeling like they feel like they don't have enough for you, that they're not... Um, I'm hearing like grown enough or mature enough for you, okay? Or they don't have what it is that you have. And that if you were to enter into some kind of union or relationship with this person, that, you know, you would let them go because you would see that they don't have what it is that you have, what it is they believe that you have just upon appearances, okay? Again, they think you are great, gorgeous. I'm hearing something about stamina, okay? You have... They think you have a lot of stamina. I don't know why, but this is what they think, okay? Um, that you know how to uh, manifest things, okay? Uh, go for whatever it is that you want, okay? This person will forever be just standing there, like watching you, dreaming, hoping, okay, that you would be in their life, that you would manifest in their life, okay, because they feel like they can't manifest you so that you would just appear to them and be what it is they want you to be with them because I feel like, once again, they don't feel like they can uh, manifest properly and appropriately to have you in their life, okay, by their side, okay, and I keep hearing in their bed, okay, six of wands in the reverse, here we have four of wands in the reverse, king of pentacles upright and temperance upright, okay, once again here, okay, they feel like there will be no, they will have no victory with you, okay, um, I'm hearing the words accomplice, comply, Hmm. I, I just really feel like, in other words, that they would not be a good or promising fit for you, okay? That they could not even provide a home for you in the way that you would want, okay? This is just upon observation, the way they see you. They feel that the best thing or the best type of person for you to have by your side is someone... Um, Just someone who's about their business, okay? Who's strong. I keep hearing compliant, <laughs> okay? So maybe they feel like, you know, in, in, in looking at you, they feel like they would have to be, um, oh, I heard they would want to be 
okay like subservient to you submissive to you okay because um, just like they feel like you are gorgeous okay absolutely divine here when they look at you okay it's like i'm here and they can't take it <laughs> okay when they see you their eyes okay it's just something about their eyes it's like um magnetism okay you were just so uh, magnificent and they're just you know magnetized okay by your beauty your gorgeousness oh if i could only have you is what they're thinking okay i'm hearing they don't understand though there's some things that they don't understand they're not clear they're not functioning with clarity okay because i feel like this person never really took the time to really talk to you but i feel like the reason they never really took that kind of time is because they are in fear here fear of you that they don't have what it takes okay to take you in their arms and make you okay theirs you deserve someone here in their mind who is basically this king of pentacles okay someone who is wealthy i'm hearing wow wow i'm hearing wealthy beyond measure okay and um wealthy a boss okay but i'm also hearing trustworthy okay so this person may not be trustworthy and they may know that okay they may have i'm hearing some problems some issues in that regard okay someone that you can trust someone that you know is going to always be their magnificent beauty again while they really think that you are beautiful okay um and it may not be the trustworthy thing may not be a thing about um them cheating on you i'm hearing they would never cheat okay they just feel like they don't have the funds the money funneling in coming in to take care of such beauty such as yourself okay and that that's what you need to bring balance here okay you need someone who's on equal footing with you this is what they think okay when they look at you and how they think of themselves they're just not equal to you in beauty magnetism etc 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 okay you have all that i have this little or nothing this is how they think okay let's continue on here we have king of cups upright okay page of cups in reverse and here we have the hierophant upright okay i feel like this person has all of this going on in their mind when it comes to you but they try to keep themselves you know try to you know keep it cool Okay, when they see you, when they are around you. Okay, if this is someone maybe that you were talking to or one was interested in and they show some interest in you, but maybe they kind of pull back or whatever, they want to keep their cool. Okay, they don't want to lose. I'm here, I'm here and lose heart, but they don't want to lose themselves around you. Okay, to show you how they really feel. Okay, because that I feel like they think that the only kind of love that they could actually give you here is this page of cups in reverse. Okay, little or nothing love. Okay, that it's not enough for you. This is their thinking. All right, so this is why they play it cool around you just to pull back. Okay, so that you don't know how they really feel. And it's really more so how they feel about themselves. They feel like that they are not deserving of such a beauty and grace as yours. So they act like they're not interested. Okay, when really they are. Let's continue on. Here we have the star in reverse. Seven of Cups of Right. And the nine of wands here in reverse. They may tell you things like, you know, they're not, they're not you know, they um, or act like, you know, they're not interested in, you know, marriage and all of that type of thing. You know, I'm cool on that, you know, <laughs> okay, because they don't really want you to see, okay. I'm hearing that they're not balanced or as balanced as you. They're not as clean, okay, as you, as beautiful as you, as divine as you, as pure as you are, okay. So, you know, they're um, still out there. Okay, possibly looking for someone that is equal to them, that would fit them because they just don't feel like they fit you. Okay, too perfect. You're too perfect in their eyes. Okay, they could never really, um, you know, be open to you. So they are looking for someone that they feel that they can uh, be open to and share with. Okay, who's not like you. All right, because once again, you're just too magnificent as far as they're concerned. They, it's like they love you. They want you, you know, oh so bad, oh so dearly. They want to have you, okay? You're in their head. They want you in their bed, all right? Um, 
And I'm like, is it just in the bed they want you? They want that and more. This is what I'm hearing. But I could never, okay, give this woman what she wants or what she she needs. Okay, be pleasing. I'm not pleasing enough, okay, for such a beauty, for such a crown, I'm hearing, okay, as her, okay, or as hers or as she has. I don't have that kind of crown. I don't wear that, okay? I don't bear that. I'm not that. I'm just a regular Joe Schmo. This is what they think. This is how they feel about themselves, okay? Here, yeah, pull a few more cards. Let's see what else we get. Uh-oh. Okay. Got the Six of Swords upright, Seven of Pentacles upright C. Okay, so here they have moved away from even the thought. Okay, that feeling like you don't want them and their burdens. Okay, the things they come with, the issues that they come with. All right, so they've walked away from even the idea of pursuing you. Okay, in fullness, I can never pursue this woman. Okay, or this man, but I'm feeling woman. Okay, I could never pursue this woman. I could never have this woman. Okay, there's too much happening in my life. They deserve so much more. I feel like this person has, you know, um, looked at their life to see that what I have is fine. Okay, but it's minimal at best. And for such a queen, <laughs> queenly, I'm hearing, such a queen, all right, as that, she could never want me. Hmm. I'm hearing poor fella, poor thing. But if he knows who he is and he knows what he has to offer, and if he feels he ha doesn't have much to offer you, no matter how much he may look up to you, admire you, your beauty, okay? He's lust-filled, I feel like, when he sees you. Just wants to ravish you and just all of that stuff. But I can't. Cannot force myself on such a beauty, such a divine being as this. Wow. <laughs> okay, then it's for the best if he feels that way. He knows who he is. He knows what he can give. He knows what he can't give. And you may be thinking, I ain't all that. I mean, my God. You know, you may be thinking, I am all that, but hey, I like you. But he, you know, doesn't want to, you know, hurt himself. And hurting you because I can't give to you what I think you are, what I think you deserve. I can only do but so much. You are a beauty divine. And this is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing the word sublime. <laughs> I want to know the exact meaning of it. Uh, wrong page. Okay. I'm saying to pass or cause to pass directly from solid to vapor state. Exalted. There it is. Exalted and noble. Okay. You are exalted and noble in this man's eyes. And it's like, I am but a pauper. And you are a queen. I don't deserve you, nor am I meant to be with you. And I am hearing, I am sorry. My apologies to you. Why? Ain't got no money, ain't got no gain. Because he know he ain't got no money and he ain't got no gain. Not for you, dear one. This is what I'm hearing. That's it. Thank you.